adjusting now. It's starting to come down. Uh, they're saying a winter weather advisory. I don't think it's going to. They're saying maybe an inch of snow. It might get a little wet. Could turn into a little bit of rain sometime, but they're not calling for too hazardous of a condition, so it should be all right. Mostly cloudy, maybe some snow today off and on high in the mid-20s. Yeah, slight chance of snow this evening. Lows in the teens tomorrow again, upper teens to lower 20s. Uh, over the weekend, highs uh, mid-teens to around 20 going into next week. Kind of the same, maybe a little bit cooler, but still fairly pleasant for the last week of January. We'll take it. Currently 20 outside. A little bit of light snow starting up. Welcome to the program. Lots going on this weekend, as you know. We have the Fairbanks Funny Festival. We've got Match Game Live, the game show. That's tonight. Here in London. Pioneer Park. Fundraiser for Fairbanks Racing uh, Line. Uh, we have the Fairbanks Funny Festival at the Blue Loon. Brought to you by uh, CBS TV, Saks and Sophie Station, the radio station, X Rock, and our uh, hit sponsors over at Good Cannabis. Helping bring you the Fairbanks Funny Festival. They even gave us some shirts to give away. So, with all that, and we've got the Beast Feast. And that's tomorrow night at Friends Church. Fundraiser. It's pretty cool. They do this every year. They get a big crowd for it. And it's uh, it's all about uh, Alaska Wild Game. Everything from moose and caribou to salmon and halibut, bear, buffalo. Oh, they got it all. Gourmet meal. Auction, silent auction, the whole works. So we got the Beast Feast, Match Game Live, Fairbanks Funny Fest, or a t-shirt for good cannabis. That's what I have to give away today. That's pretty cool. 457-5957. Keep that number in mind because I think we're going to do it by playing a little game of yes or BS. And now it's time, Tom. Yes. 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 Or BS. This is the 457-5957 is the number to call. Our topic today for Martin Luther King Jr. Day last weekend. The holidays here in the month. But you know, not all holidays are that important. Not like Martin Luther King Day. It's really the biggest one in January. Other than New Year's, you know, the first day. So the topic is other January holidays that you may not know about. 457-5957. On the line. Comedy tickets. Tickets to Match Game. The Beast Feast. Or I'll give you a choice. You can have a uh, cool t-shirt from Good Cannabis. X-Rock Radio. Good morning. Who's this? This is Justin. Justin, here's your question, Justin. International Sweatpants Day. Is that an actual holiday in January? Yes or BS? I'll say uh, yes. Uh huh. Uh, happened to be Monday, same day as Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yeah, it's all about being lazy and not giving a crap. Right on. International Sweatpants Day. Or, as the people of Walmart call it, Monday. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, MLK Day also coincides with Granola Bar Day and Squirrel Appreciation Day. Oh, oh, Justin, it. Squirrel <laughs> Appreciation Day. All right, so uh, there you go. So here's the deal. What what do you want? You want to go to comedy, match game, the uh, Beast Feast, or uh, uh, a shirt from Good Cannabis? Uh, let's go with comedy. All right. Uh, you said Justin? Yes. And your last uh, name? Uh, Powell. Tonight or tomorrow night at the Loon? Let's go with uh, tonight. Okay. Your name, plus one, will be at the door. Awesome, thank you. All right, that's at the Blue Loon, 8 o'clock. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. 457-5957. We're playing yes or BS. Thanks for radio. Who's this? Darcy. Hi, Darcy. How are you? Good. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're looking at it's yes or BS. You got a 50-50 shot at all these. We have a ton of cool prizes. So... Here is yours. A national lie to your parents day. Is that a real holiday? Yes or BS? It better not be. <laughs> there you go. That's right. It's not. No, we made that up. It's not really necessary since a large percent of us do it multiple times a month anyway. It's caught. Well. All right, Darcy, what is your last name? 
Gillespie. Gillespie. All right. Uh, what can I get you? Do you want to go to the Beast Beast? Go to comedy? Go to Match Game Live? Or would you like a T-shirt from Good Cannabis? Can I get a comedy tomorrow You got it. All right. Saturday Night Comedy. Your name will be at the door at the Blue Loon, okay? Thank you so much. Yeah, it's good for you and a guest. Eight o'clock. Just tell them I'll have your name. All righty? All right, thanks. Bye. 457-5957. Five, 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 yes. X-Rock Radio, who's this? Hello? Oh, hold on. Lost them. X-Rock Radio, who's this? This is Thomas. Hi, Thomas. How are you? Pretty good. All right, man. Here you go. Uh, Z-Day. A day honoring people whose names begin with the letter Z. That sounds like some BS. No, no, it's a real day. Uh, January first, says Matt. Your friend Zoe and Zach—they were all—they're furious you missed it. I'll be straight up. My dog Zephyr—he hit it. Hit, he licked himself for like an extra hour that day. X Rock Radio. Good morning. Who's this? Rod. Hi, Rod. Did you say Rod? Yeah. Hi, Rod. Uh, step in a puddle and splash your friend's day. Yes or BS? Is that real? No. No, it is. Well, it's real. It's a real holiday. Some idiot who isn't uh, us came up with it. It was January 11th. That's a stupid name for a holiday. All right. I think I have one more. X Rock Radio. Good morning. Who's this? Pete. Steve? Oh, Pete. Pete. Hi, Pete. All right, Pete. National Hold It Day, where you have to save water by not using the bathroom. Mm. Man. That's a tough one. I'm just going to say yes. No! Oh, no, no. <laughs> Someone should lobby for it to be on September 28th, a.k.a. National Drink Beer Day. Oh, that'd be brutal. There we go. All right. Uh, well, here you go. That means I still have some more giveaways to do, and we'll do that coming up here very soon. Just because we can. But around the corner, we got more stuff to take care of. We got a... Uh, Kind of a foodie roundup. Could we do a foodie roundup here? Yes. Krispy Kreme and Heinz. They don't have anything in common, but they're in our foodie roundup. We got it for you next. Rock. 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 Rock.